What's up, y'all? You, you, you recording now? Yeah. All right, so we got the bigger tires on now. I had to move where the Reva was mounted up because this part was rubbing against the tire, but we're going to give it a shot. See how we do today. Alright, got the paint in the mail, gunmetal gray, got the body taped up, or the windows. I'm going to do one more wipe down of the inside, and then we'll go ahead and paint. Alright you guys, a couple more things I got. So I went to a local hobby store and picked up some slash rear arms. Um, rear slash slash rustler stampede. Um, let's see, it says camber links. It says for the. F okay, it looks like it could be for the front or the rear, but I'm going to use it for the rear, obviously. And then some half shafts. These are a little bit longer. That way I can extend the uh, drive shaft. So the goal is to get the rear tires pushed out a little bit. That way I can use the same width tire on all four sides. Normally the bandit uh, front arms are a little bit wider and that's because the bandit has a skinny front tire. But I want to run the same width tire all the way around. So that's why I got that. All right, there we've got it. So we've got the tape off the windows. So you guys can see there, got the film off. And I think it looks pretty good. So a couple spots where I had messed up the body from running it, um, you know, turned out fine. I think overall, there's a little bit there, but I think uh, in the end, it looks really, really good. That window tape, I think, did a really good job. And uh, once we get the stickers on, it's gonna look pretty sharp. Body's on, body's done. There's the front, there's the fog lights, the 5 badge on the side, got the tail lights, got the Mustang license plate. A little Ford emblem in the right spot. It's done. So this is going to be, like I mentioned, my uh, my car when I want to go out and just ride and look good. But when I want to go for high speed runs, I'm going to get that slash body and uh, put that on. The half shafts I got before that were 6850, these were too big. So I did have to go and get two of the slash drive shafts to put those on. So eight. 6852X and that is going to replace the bandit drive shafts. But let me go let me go ahead and show you guys that real quick. Take these off. Of course the body's got some imperfections, but you know, it is what it is. I think all in all it turned out pretty good. Um so these you can see these drive shafts from the bandit were just a little short. So, um, gonna put those on and then that will make it so that the track, the rears are just a little tiny bit wider than the front. I'm fine with the rears being wider than the front. I was not okay with the fronts being wider than the rears when I put anything other than a skinny tire up front. So anyways, I think it looks pretty good. I'll probably run it like this for a while. And then the next big upgrade for this slash is gonna be a custom chassis so probably a carbon fire fiber custom chassis where the uh everything basically transfers over other than this blue part which you guys which you guys see here the reason i didn't do that uh first was i wanted to get into the slash length and see how i like that before uh you know looking at getting anything uh, a little more custom and much more expensive so Stay tuned for that. All right, you guys, never stop upgrading. Um, right now we've got the motor moved out the way and I started to drill out the housing for a bigger pinion gear, but the pinion gear that I got, 6493, this is a 34 tooth, just not enough 
room. You guys can see where the shaft would be coming out, where that grub screw is. Just not gonna work with the stock housing. We've got a little, little bit of carnage here. Uh, this is just to get me started until I get a hot racing uh, motor mount slash transmission housing for this thing later. But this will be able, or this will enable me to go ahead and test this out with the new gears. And once I get all this put back together, I'll run it just to take it back apart in a couple days once I get the hot racing, hot racing upgrade. But this is part of this, uh, this hobby, right? All right, you guys, got the motor mount bolted on. And you might be able to see, but I've got a washer on both that side and the inside. And that's because the plastic through there is a little bit thin from where I had to extend um, where that bottom bolt would go through. Um, but it's really, really strong now. I was able to tighten it down as, uh, you know, as much as needed. And then the mesh is just perfect. Excited to get this put back together. And try it out that's just crazy almost a one-to-one -one. it's 34 tooth pinion and 36 tooth spur if i did go to a 34 be a true one-to-one -one, and this would actually go a little bit closer together so maybe by the time i get the hot racing aluminum uh housing i can get that hot racing 34 tooth uh spur and be a true one-to-one -one. All right, so got everything put back together. Last little thing was drilling down this part of the mount on uh, the motor guard slash wheelie bar mount. Whew, long day, long day. All right, so finished modding up the rear. Got the old wheelie bar back on because the new one with the motor where it was at would not work out. Um, that wheelie bar hardly worked anyways. So um, as you guys can see, even with the modifications, wheelie bar is still really strong. And with the lowest position, still works. The motor is a little further back, so the ride height wants to drop down more. But for speed runs, that's actually perfect. Um, I even had to add another spacer on both sides and mount the shock in the closest location on the uh, slash a arm but man really starting to come together looking good i think i've got to do something with the front obviously you can see the front kind of pointing up but yeah there's no real rebound with these with these shocks which again it's it's totally fine if the big gears are on nothing's in the way even that bottom screw there just barely uh barely clearing so We'll rock this for a bit until we get the hot racing upgrade. We'll do something about the front and uh, we'll get a slash body for this. See how it goes. I'm really excited. Um, let's see what this body looks like with that bumper on. Yep, no issue whatsoever. You can see the body where the other one was. It was actually digging in a little bit, but that is actually perfect. So ready to roll when we're, uh, we're rocking the Mustang body, but again, for the top speed, because the Mustang is like a parachute, we'll, uh, we'll use the slash body. So hopefully this video uh, to this point was, was interesting for you guys. Uh, maybe it gave you a couple ideas if you're gonna rock a, a taller pinion. Keep in mind, uh, you're not gonna want to use this for drag racing. This motor is not strong enough to punch off the line with this. This is purely for top speed. So it's gonna be real easy off the line and then uh, gradually speeding up to get to the top speed. One or two runs and then the motor is too hot. So again, keep in mind, this is purely a top speed uh, build, trying to get the highest speed possible with this setup. So if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribe to this channel for more content. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're alerted as soon as I put up a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Take care.